Hello everyone and welcome to this Aquas 2020 tutorial. In this tutorial we will be exploring Aquas' ability to use a depth buffer. Correct depth buffering is required for a variety of effects such as real-time shadows, screen space fog and volumetric lighting. Aquas offers two possible setups for rendering the water surface, deep water and shallow water. We will look at both. In this scene I have a terrain with some vegetation and the water is already set up. I have also imported the Enviro weather system and applied it. I am using the weather preset for heavy rain since it features a dense screen space fog. We can already see that while the surrounding environment is affected by the fog, the water is not. To change this, all we need to do is to add a component to the camera that enables depth buffer support for Aquas. Select your camera object and let's have a look at the inspector. Apart from the Aquas camera script and the Aquas cam nav script that we need in order to move the camera around in game view, we see two additional components that are not related to Aquas but to Enviro. Click Add Component, Aquas, Essentials, Depth Support. When we have a look at the component, we see that it asks us for a water plane. Drag your water plane from the hierarchy and drop it here. All water planes that use the same material will now have depth buffer support in play mode. Let's hit play and explore the scene. We see that Aquas is now also affected by the fog and blends in nicely with the weather. I will change the weather preset in Enviro to get stronger shadows and switch from heavy rain to a cloudy sky. As we can see the water can also receive real-time shadows from these trees. Notice that the rendering with depth buffer support works only for the camera with the depth support component on it. The scene view camera will render the water surface wrong. Also keep in mind that depth buffer support is only available in play mode, not in edit mode. One word of advice before we move on to the next scene, be aware that enabling depth buffer support requires performance and may have a considerable impact depending on your scene setup. Try to use it sparingly and only in scenes in which you have to. Let's exit play mode and move to another scene. In this scene I have a simple cathedral environment with two windows. I have set up volumetric lighting using Aura 2. With Aquas I am not using the setup for deep water, instead I am using the shallow water setup to flood the room. When we select the camera here and have a look at the inspector, we see that apart from the Aquas camera and the Aquas cam nav scripts, we only have a script related to Aura's volumetric lighting, yet Aquas seems to render correctly with both shadows and volumetric lighting in edit mode. Aquas also renders correctly in the scene view. This is because the shallow water offers depth buffer support by default, so when using Aquas as shallow water, you don't need to add the depth support component at all. This also makes the shallow water a lot more performant than the deep water, so consider using it when you can. And that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions or need support, please feel free to send an email or leave a post on the forum. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next tutorial.